right guys, Top Hops here, and as you can probably tell from behind me, I am restarting my Funko Pop collection. So let's get started. Now I gotta let you know that I'm not actually getting rid of and selling all of the Funko Pops that I already own. I just removed them from my background for this video and it's for a good reason. It's because I want to show the people that don't have a Funko Pop collection what they could purchase today in 2022. And I figured having no pops in the background would give like a better effect, you understand. And so today we're going to be going to my usual stores to see what crazy or interesting figures we can find today in 2022. And if you didn't own any pops before clicking on the video, I hope that this inspires you to start purchasing some because you can find some really cool figures, you just have to go out and look. Oh, and also I do want to let you guys know that I will be meeting up with my friends Luca and Cora so that way they can come hunting too because they wanted to pick up a couple figures, so why not? Let's all go. And so I guess I'll meet you guys and them over at our first store, which is going to be GameStop. All right, everyone, so we made it over to the mall, and I also grabbed Luca and Cora, so let's go inside and see what they've got. Also, I need to pick up my first Funko Pop ever, technically, today, so let's see what we can do there. All right, so we've made it to the Max section here, and as you guys heard from earlier, I don't own any Funko Pops anymore, so we're looking at all new figures today. Luca, what'd you find? I'm a big Dracula fan. Are you? Have you seen Van this one? Oh, yeah. Bram Stoker's Dracula? Oh, yeah. Interesting. I might get this and Dracula. Look, there's a second one there, too. Oh, they do. There's actually a chase for that one where he's licking a knife. It's kind of gross, but it's, it's also cool at the same time. It is. Cora, did you find anything? <laughs> <laughs> I figured I might as well ask. I was just looking right here at those. This is a good then, one. Um, oh, I liked the Alice Toodle being included on those. Really cute. Nice, nice. I like that they kind of like flipped them too, so they are technically different. Um, this one I don't have. You know, I technically do. I don't have this one in the collection. Uh, so maybe we'll have to get that today. Oh, can you get a skin from this? Can you what? <laughs> Get a skin from these? No, you can't get a skin. Look, I did a whole video about this where you like scan it. It's just to tell you that it's an official product. I mean, you should go back and watch the video. Maybe you you didn't hear that right now. No, go back and watch the video. But yeah, no, there's no skins in there. It's just that it's an official product. I want a skin. I want the tomato head skin. Would be nice. Well, you know what it is, Luca? They're so rare now, right? The skins that they can't just give them to you in these. I don't have this one yet. The, the figure in general, or do you mean the skin? The skin. Right, right. And That's what I'm figure. talking about. Like, it's probably super rare to. Okay, sure, go for it. And now while Luca's doing that, let's look for some figures that we could pick up today because we don't have any pops in our collection. And also, I need to pick up my first Funko Pop and I need to pick out something good here. Hmm, this is a tough one. Okay, I'm debating between a couple. We've got Pidgeotto, we've got the Brow Powdered Toast Man, and there was another one that I was looking at. Ooh, the 10 inch Iron Man Mark 43. That could be a good one. Ooh, but this is also another good one. This one is the Glow in the Dark E from Wally, and I do not have this one in the collection, uh, but if you guys want to check out the back, this is the rest of them in the set. And I wish they had these ones here because I do need the entire collection still. Because I don't have any pops, of course. And this one here is also pretty cool, guys. This one is the Batman and the Joker. Now, this is from, I want to say, the 1989 Batman. And I think it's pretty cool that they gave him the feather here. And also, this could be a cool one to pick up today because, again, I don't have it. Oh, and you know what? Right under Batman is this one right here, Belle with the mirror. And I'm definitely going to be getting this one today because I do like a lot of the newer Beauty and the Beast ones. And it's a pretty cool pop. Especially because when you look at it kind of close, you can see that Beast is actually on the mirror. And it's like a popified version of him. So, hey, let's grab it. Since GameStop, it's dark out. But we made it over to Toys R Us. And let's go see what we can add to our brand new collection because I probably have nothing that they've got today. Because we're starting the collection over. You guys know what I mean. Okay, everybody, we're having a bit of a problem here because I made it over to the Pops and they're gone. <laughs> Okay, well, lucky enough, guys, I found the new section of figures, and it's actually just over here. Like, that's where the old one was over there, and now it's just moved to here, and I think it's a lot nicer. And a couple of figures that stood out to me was this one right here, Mikey, and I think I'm probably going to be getting this one today, and it's too bad that they don't have more of these, but I did get Donatello. Actually, no, we have to get Donatello today. I don't have them anymore. And then over on this side here, they actually have some pretty good figures. Luca, I also noticed, did you see it? They have Holistic George. I saw that. I'm gonna, I might actually get that today. I know. If you guys don't know. last time. Yeah, last time we were here, you saw it. You were debating on it, and then you talked about it after. So if you wanted to get it, today might be the right day. And then what else is new? They have Yzma here. Now, this one is a nice one. This one here is from, of course, Emperor's New Groove. Now, this one normally comes with a lounge fly bag, but I guess here in Canada, it doesn't. So I'm probably going to get it today. And I mean, guys, there are so many figures that I would want to pick up today. And I think we're going to have to kind of limit our Ourselves a little bit because of course I don't have any of these in the collection so Adventure Time's pretty cool Samurai Jack's nice Tina Belcher is also cool um, it really is tough so I think today we're probably gonna get C-3PO and then maybe I'll pick out a couple others because I mean come on guys there's too many <gasps> shoot okay they got this Tinkerbell in here and I've actually been looking for this one for a little while I didn't know it was gonna be coming to Canada but uh, yeah this is definitely one of the ones we're gonna be getting today Cora I know you came for the pocket pops are you finding anything here no I'm not. Uh, I was looking for the Stay Puft Mini. Oh, yes, one, yes, 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 yes. 
Well, they might have other things. I was really hoping they would have them, but they don't. It's too bad. They might have other mini puff things, but it doesn't look like any Pocket yeah. Pops today. And well, it looks like these pops are in the same spot. And there is a lot of things that I would like to pick up today because I don't have any of them. We might as well. Like the Metallic Super Shredder, as well as this Michael Scott, DJ Khaled, the Pixar one from, well, what did I say here? The Pixar one from Toy Story, I was going to say. Rex from Toy Story. That is a nice one. So I think, yeah, for this video, we're getting all of them. Okay, so we are now out of Toys R Us, and we are going over to one more store for today, which should have some good stuff, and it is that entertainment so let's see what they've got and now this could take a while because again I don't have any Funko Pops in the collection so we're gonna be digging through this a bit and most of the figures here are 14 bucks which isn't bad and over here on the left they've got a lot of Pokemon ones which is cool and then we've also got Wonder Woman from the 80th anniversary Parks and Rec Samurai Jack I think almost all the turtles no they're missing Donatello and then over to the right a little bit more we've got some of the Suicide Squad we've got Game of Thrones more Game of Thrones what if more of the gingerbread ones these ones are nice too because you don't see them very often after Christmas then we also have Spock as well as Birdie the early bird and a bunch of the ad icons as well as retro toys which is neat I'm a big fan of those ones and then we've got like Harry Potter oh wait there it is right there guys Donatello and then above that we also have the Spongebob Squarepants and this one here is him with the jellyfishing net which is pretty cool and now coming over to the right I'm looking at a bunch of figures that I would like to add to the collection but these ones here are a little bit more expensive so I'll probably just pick up maybe like one or two of these ones and we haven't even looked at the cabinet yet and the one that I noticed right away and if it's got a nice box I'll probably grab it this one here is anger from inside out and you know what it doesn't look too bad and this really is an interesting figure and if you look at the bottom here you might be able to see the year like if I put a glare over it the first two numbers say 16 and that's the year that it was released so I might have to grab this thing today and now here is the smaller cabinet usually with the cheap of the figures but there's still some really nice ones and if you guys want to check them out we've got some pretty interesting figures like the Donald Duck from the Three Musketeers we've also got some from Destiny Batman Starship Troopers Tiny Rick that one is a really good one there and I don't think he's in the show for very long but it is a pretty funny pop and then up at the top here I also noticed some of the Kingdom Hearts and even the Toys R Us exclusive Sora and then above the shelf check this out guys they have I believe all if not most of the dragons from Game of Thrones it's pretty cool to see them all together now Luca is there anything that's standing out to you over here <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, really. it doesn't have to be. Yeah, not really. There are some nice figures, but there are a lot of, like, specific things, too. I do like the Mr. Matt. That was cool. Oh, yeah, Mr. Matt's a nice one. And for 50 bucks, not too bad, but they did re-release him in his Away jersey, so if you want to get it for cheaper, you could always do that. And then here is the, I would say, more expensive cabinet. I mean, they're pretty much like $40 and up is what I'm seeing inside of here, and there are some really great ones, like this Ant-Man up here. Oh, actually, now that I say that, it is literally a $20 figure, but still, it's a cool one. I really do like the one. That's why I'm pointing it out. We also have Patrick Waugh. We also have Jim with Gnome, and a couple sodas over here, and I noticed that both the Prince John as well as Tongue Lasher are $14 instead of the normal $20, so I might get a couple of this today to see if we can get that chase oh and you know what guys down here they do have the iron man with gauntry from iron man 2 and this one here was the top pop no pun intended of 2021 so hey you might want to pick this one up if you see it oh and then i just noticed they have some around the side here with mojo jojo as well as comic book guy and then this one here luca pointed this one out to me it's actually from yu yu hakashu and it's signed by i believe the voice actor which is pretty cool and they've had this one here for a little while but i figured i might as well show it off again because probably some of you guys haven't seen it and now before we get into the figures that I purchased today, I wanted to show you these here. These are ones that I had in my collection, not today technically, but I mean with these in the background, you know what I mean. But these here were all pops that if you went to the store today, the day that I'm filming this, you would have been able to purchase any of these. And I think that they really are some great figures that probably anybody would love to have in their collection. And I was really excited that I was able to find this Iron Man today because it really is a sick pop. And I've seen it out of the box with it glowing and it glows so well. Any Iron Man fan would probably love to have this. And with all of these figures right here, I was able to find Funko Shop exclusives, EB Games slash GameStop exclusives, just some really, really nice pops that I'm sure you guys, if you're just starting a collection now, would probably want to pick up. And now I know this isn't many, but I'm putting them in the background just to show you guys what the collection would look like if we just started today. So this is what we've got, and it's turning out pretty nice. And from this angle, it looks like there's hardly any figures added to the background, but we've got like 10 or 15 here. There's something. And now let's get into the figures that I actually purchased today, because there was a lot of really great ones that you guys could use to help start your collection. And I guess we'll start with GameStop because that was the first place we went to today. And I guess the first figure in my new collection would be this one right here, Belle with the Mirror. And I'm actually so glad that I was able to add this one to the collection because I think it's a really unique figure, especially with the mirror in her hand. And I think that this is a pretty interesting figure to restart the collection with. It's got some nice details and it's kind of a unique pop, so I'm glad I could get it. 
Oh, and I was also able to pick up two pre-orders. We got Podcast as well as Mr. Gruberson, and I still haven't seen Ghostbusters Afterlife, and so now that I've got these two here, I probably should watch it. And then the next store we went to was Toys R Us, and I was able to get three different figures over there and some pretty good ones at that. With the first one here being Michelangelo from the TMNT art series set. And I think I'm gonna try to get all four of them and then maybe Splinter if I find him in person. But for now, I think I'm just gonna go for the turtles because I already have two of them. And if you guys wanna see the back of the box with the other pops, there they are right there. And I'm definitely gonna be getting these two. I'm debating on Splinter because a lot of people pointed him out that he kind of looks like he's a skinned rat. And I don't know how I feel about that, so we might skip on him. And then this next one here was really a surprise. This one was Tinkerbell inside the drawer. And I did not expect to find this because I swear it just released over at Box Lunch in the US. And if you guys want to check out Tinkerbell, there she is right there and this really is a nice figure and I kind of want to take it out of the box quickly just to see what it looks like a little bit closer up. <laughs> oh wow, this is a neat pop, especially because it looks like she's just fallen over. There's the needle with thread, there's also like a bead on the side, a couple buttons, a bobby pin and a, what are they called? Uh, oh, they go over your thumb when you're sewing. A thumb tack? No, that's, uh, thimble. Thimble's the word I'm looking for. And actually, now that I think about it, I believe all of the Tinkerbell Pops had clear wings, but there's something about this that makes it look clearer, so I like it. And then the last figure I was able to get was Yzma from Emperor's New Groove, and this really was a neat one, especially because I do already have Kronk in his Scout Leader outfit, so now I've got both of them that kind of go together. And looking at the back of the box here, I wish I got more of them in this set, like Llama Cusco, as well as Cusco, and Pacha, and Kronk, and Yzma. Actually, the entire set would be a great one to have, because I remember I watched the show as well as the movie when I was younger, and I feel like I kind of missed out on this one. I don't know why, but for some reason, whenever a new set comes out, I go, ah, I'll get it later, and then the set sells out, and then I wish I had it three years later, and then they're super expensive, and now I've got to pay like an arm and a leg for them. And then the last place we went to was That's Entertainment, and I got three things over there, one of them being the Anger Funko Pop, which I only got for $15, and I think that was honestly a really great deal. And I don't know what this figure goes for normally, but Pops now are $15 anyway, so it couldn't be worse than that. And then I also ended up getting two of the Tongue Lasher sodas because they were on sale from 20 to 15 and I don't have the chase yet, so I figured let's grab a couple. And really quickly, before we do get into the sodas, I wanted to take the anger out of the box just to see him a little bit closer up because this is an interesting pop, but I'm actually glad that I didn't buy it when it first came out because I remember I was gonna pay like, I wanna say 40 or $45 for it, which isn't too crazy for something that I'm really like looking for. But now that I was able to get it for 15 a bunch of years later, I'm glad I waited. And this really is an interesting pop, and I'm surprised that it's not worth more. So if you're looking for this figure, maybe pick it up now so that way it doesn't get more expensive in the future. And now I do realize that you can't just go to every GameStop and Hot Topic to pick this up, but I was giving you guys an idea of almost like you could go to your local like comic book store or mom and pop shop that sells Funko Pops, and you could find something like this. Maybe not exactly, but similar. And now everybody, let's get into these Tongue Lasher sodas to see if we got that metallic chase, and I kind of have a good feeling about this. Okay, here we go everybody. Soda number one, let's find out, is it the metallic one? It is not. Great. And now the good news is I'm not paying an astronomical amount for these sodas. I actually got them on sale, so it's not too bad. And I'm looking here, the Tongue Lasher is limited to one out of 4,200, and the photo on this thing kind of looks a little creepy. All right, everybody, now soda number two. Let's find out, did we get a chase on this one? And also, they did have, what was the other one? I think it was Prince John on sale for $15, but I already had the chase in the comment for that one twice, I think, so I decided not to get it. And now, let's find out what we got on this one, and please be the chase. That way I don't have to buy another one of these in the future. <sighs> I think it's the common again, unless I'm wrong about it being metallic, but I'm pretty sure the chase is metallic. And just to make sure, oh, does it not stand? Ah, oh, this one doesn't even stand. Well, the good news is it's not the chase, so I don't really care. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is everything for today. And I hope that this video here did help somebody who was trying to start their Funko Pop collection, or maybe just somebody who wants to pick up a new figure and they didn't really know what to get. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. On a four with school. Baby gonna school. She funny with it, funny with it, cool. V54 thump, I'm a hump, on a bone, bounce, Jack and Jill, up a hill, baby tryna get a meal. Mary had a little lamb, I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin, man, I surely like the muffin top. Snow, hey. let my lashes.